The only time that I found out that short men were supposed to struggle on the dating market was when I got into these spaces in 2018. I did not know that height was such a big thing to men. I've never had an issue because of my height. So I'm not with nobody, cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Did it over text, didn't call me. Still got love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. And there's a lot of things that I do not understand about this space. I saw a lot of comments from guys and it shot me. I don't think they watched the whole video, but they were commenting on their height. They were saying, yeah, but I'm not above six feet. So I can't do like this guy is doing on the dating market. And I specifically said, I am five, eight and three fourths. The only time that I found out that short men were supposed to struggle on the dating market was when I got into these spaces in 2018. I did not know that height was such a big thing to men because from what I see and for what I've experienced, I've never had an issue because of my height. And I don't understand why men have this defeatist mindset where they think that if I'm not above six feet, then I'm not going to be able to get women. That's a defeatist mindset. And I'm telling you right now, if you're a short guy and you're having a hard time getting women, there may be some other things that you need to work out in your life that may be hindering you from getting that female attention. And we already talked about the pick a struggle thing. If you're a short guy and you're broke and you're overweight, would you really want your daughter to date a guy like that? So think about it. So if you're taking this stance of, well, I can't get women because I'm not six feet, then you already lost. There's other things, other intangibles that you need to do to improve your life. If your teeth is crooked, go get braces. If you need to put on some, some muscle, go to the gym. If you need to get your money up, work extra hours. Do what you need to do to become competitive on the dating market and stop blaming it on being short. If I had my side-by-side -side picture or whatever, the way I came into the military and the way I look now, you guys would be completely and utterly shocked because I worked on myself. I started getting on my purpose, became more educated, and I did all this while being short. Who knew? And I'm only five, eight and three fourths. And I'm going to keep putting that three fourths in there because I want y'all to know that I'm that close to five, nine. But with Tim's, I'm five, ten. So I'm stopping with the big dogs, brother. You know, <laughs> Hello Fresh is also an owner of Factor. So Factor is pre-made meal plans. If you don't like to cook your own meals with Hello Fresh, you can use the link in my comment section and you can pick your meals from Factor. In the link, you get some free meals as well. So if you guys don't want to take the time to go ahead and cook the meals like I did with HelloFresh, you can go ahead and order your own meals through Factor. The meals are amazing. They have breakfast, they have protein shakes, they have smoothies. So if you guys want to use Factor, go ahead and hit that link in the comment section. It's, it's amazing. But yeah, man, stop having that, that defeated mindset that you can't win on the daily market because you're short. I never understood that. Like I said, it's a lot of things that I don't understand in these spaces. And one of the main things was like, dudes was like, you're supposed to struggle when you're below six feet. And that's crazy to me. So I was a, I was a young Thundercat in these streets. <laughs> Oh, man. That gym is a great equalizer. Cortez Smith said, yeah, I don't see the height thing in real life. I grew up playing basketball and never saw a dude get women just because he's tall. Yeah, like I said, we women may have a preference for tall guys, but you really telling me that if the average height of uh, every man is 5'9", and none of these guys are getting booty? Like, come on, man. Like, got to be realistic. Uh, Cerebral said, uh, you're not short. <laughs> hey, man, I'm going to consider myself... Uh, in the short category, because they say that I'm below six feet, so I'm not supposed to uh, win on the dating market, right? <laughs> Aaron Taylor said, me either, 5'10". Uh, good on you, man. I just never understood it. You know, the quiet storm, medium man, bench press cars. <laughs> That's why the short issues don't matter. Yeah, and that has a lot to do with it, man. The gym, and I've said this multiple times, 
The gym is a great equalizer. And some of you guys don't take advantage of that, especially on the dating market. If you know that you're a short guy and you need to become competitive on the dating market, you need to get your ass in that damn gym because there are more women than not who love muscular guys. I know you see some videos on YouTube where it's women. I don't like guys who are just that muscular. I like dad bods. I want you to go out there and use that logic. Go ahead and get you a dad bot and see how many women you get. Typically, when, men, when women talk about dad bots, they're talking about men that they're married to because they don't want those men to stay in shape so they're attracted to other women. So if you're a fat ass in your marriage and you're, you, how, how are you going to sit there and hold your wife to a standard of being in shape if you're not going to the gym and you got a beer gut? So don't listen to that foolery when you see women say, I love dad bots. They're doing that as a tactic, especially these social media sex influencers. The women, they'll pander to a specific audience of men. Like they'll say, do you like muscular guys? And then she'll be like, no. Do you like guys who are in shape? She'll say no. And then she'll, they'll put up there, do you like guys with... She's doing that so she can get your money, guys. That doesn't work on the dating market. If you're going to sit there and take that excuse of I'm going to get me a dad bod because these women say they like dudes with dad bods, I'm telling you right now, that is a small minority of women. So I want to dispel this narrative that all these women just love guys with dad bods. It's not true. They're trying to trick you into being lazy so they can be lazy. You cannot be lazy. You need to make sure that you are always competitive no matter what age you are. I am 43 years old. I take care of myself. It's a routine. It's part of my lifestyle. You guys need to adopt that. If you are out of shape, get your ass in the gym. There is no excuse. Just like there is no excuse for missing work, there should be no excuse for you missing a day of the gym. I prioritize my gym days. The Lakers were playing yesterday. What did I do? I went to the gym early. I went to go play golf early because I wanted to make sure that I got my exercise in before I sat down and watched the Lakers beat the shit out of the Memphis Grizzlies. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, so make it a habit. I don't want to hear any excuses. Nobody is going to listen to you. Nobody cares. I'm telling you, you need to care about yourself. So get in that damn gym and stop using these, these, these excuses. Get in the gym and stop uh, listening to these lying ass women saying that, uh, <laughs> that they like dad bots. You will be a non-competitive person. You're going to let that young short dude that's yoked up. I like that word. I'm listening to these Christian, uh, these Christian videos. They say equally yoked. And I always think about a swole dude and a swole woman being equally yoked, yoked up. <laughs> I like that word. Equally yoked. <laughs>